Welcome to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining with us. I have Kyle and Alex McCarthy on the show with me today. All right, gentlemen, thanks for coming back on the show. Really appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, Michael, looking forward to being here for a second, for a third time, actually. Tell me about, uh, for the audience that hasn't seen this, give us a background on yourselves and Cheer Life. And I wanted to get into um, the impact of shaping behaviors of our youth. Yeah, so um, you know our background is in engineering, um, but specifically we, we did competitive cheerleading, coached competitive cheerleading, traveled the world in that in that industry for over 10, 15 years, and from that we decided to you know develop and build the Cheer Life app, which is essentially um, a social community platform that really drives engagement into the cheerleading dance industry, but not just for cheerleaders. We're talking for youth in general around the world. Yeah, and so a lot of what we do is basically shape the behaviors of our youth. And so we have our action tracking capability where kids can track their homework. Every time they ate healthy, they complimented their parents, did their chores. And so we're, we've created a gamified app where it incentivizes kids to actually track these actions over a long period of time without being told to do so. So, And it's awesome. It's, it's We essentially created a gamified platform that's making athletes want to do their homework, to want to compliment the parents. I mean, it's unprecedented that we can reward people for doing these things instead of telling them that they have to do it. Now, you guys started this thing from ground zero. I want you to give the audience an idea of the type of um, sponsorship that is engaged with you and the type of uh, numbers that you're now uh, working with on a daily basis with the with the the tribe members, as we call it, in your your platform? Well, you know, it's, it's, it, that's a great question. You know, we've really been able to streamline growing this app, mainly because it's a niche community and we really can be able to target, you know, a lot of that organic traffic. And that's really been able for us to grow. So we're north of 23,000 users on our app, which is awesome to be on a dedicated community platform specifically for the cheer and dance community. What's interesting about partnering with brands is you know, people, gone are the days where people want, you know, pop-up banner ads. People don't want advertising. People want true, authentic engagement. And so, you know, Mark Zuckerberg even said, you know, Facebook did a great job creating these uh, town halls, per se, but where they lack is creating the living room. And so we've essentially created this individualized living room where not only can athletes, you know, engage with athletes, but brands can engage with that target audience. Whether you're a water bottle wanting to be in the market, or you're a bow, or you're you know you're you're a Coca-Cola can, whatever it be, we're really driving that true engagement, and that's where brands see the huge value in partnering with your life. And one of our most recent brands is a company called Pine Lips, where they uh, donate 20 percent of their proceeds to anti-bullying. And so one of our actions that they've sponsored is the positive uh, attitude. So every time they have a positive attitude, Pine Lips sponsors that action. And after a certain amount of time, they have a positive attitude, they get a discount code for that. Uh, their products. Talk to me about the other side of this because there is always a backside. There's managing this community that you have and how you're able to take it from a micro to a macro scale and, and go on a global global uh, drive with this. Yeah, you know, that's, a, that's also a great question, you know, because you, you want to tailor it towards two different worlds. You want to be, you know, in that private community, but you want to, every company wants to scale. And I think we've done a really good job of creating these unique experiences within the walls <clears throat> of a gym, but then also by bringing these outside brands and sponsors, these global, um, these global brands and these big, massive events that have over 30,000 cheerleaders at them, we're able to bring that event into an actual interactive experience <clears throat> where people can then engage with the brands and it's able to really help us drive momentum to scale the company and grow our audience at a much more rapid pace. Now, there is another component and it's monetization of your platform. You're, you're growing it and I also want you to address the valuation of what's happened to your, your company since you started using the platform. So let's talk about monetization first. 
Yeah, that's a you know great question. Um, for for the monetization effort, you know, like I said a little bit earlier, is brands don't want just pop up banner ads and impression over impression over impression. What they want is to really take it to the next level with that true value engagement. So what we do is we partner and we tie these brands to a positive value to help them with their marketing campaign, to help them with that marketing effort in that, you know, in Q1 or maybe for the year or for a season. We really help drive that engagement to so when I'm an athlete or if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a youth a youth um, member cheerleader, I'm going to associate that brand with that positive action, and now you're creating this relationship that goes much further beyond just a pop up banner ad. And we've been able to monetize that to really re, to really redefine how a marketer really connects with the consumer. One of the things that I was talking with a, a person who's uh, syndic syndicating our show is the ability to get granular on the demographics. So can you describe to the audience how you're able to just sector out a specific uh, demographic into a, a which really turns into a, a huge pop in the CPM on the monetization model. Do you follow me? Yeah, absolutely. And so the way that the app works, it's all based on, it's all tag based. So when I onboard, I'm, my name is Alex. I'm in San Diego, California. I'm an adult. You know, these are my interests. These are my hobbies. We capture that information throughout the onboarding on the app. And then what we're able to do is, you know, when we're talking about marketing and just the advertising dollars in general, now we're able to really hyper focus and hyper localize that audience. So let's take an event, for example. If I'm an event and I'm looking to add revenue dollars to that event, well, I know who's going to be at that event and I can bring the restaurant across the street and push notify them to, you know, to, to go to that restaurant. I can push notify different vendors that are hyper focused in that community but also get people who are outside the community and start to be able to penetrate inside that demographic area, whether it's location-based or whether it's age-based or you know, female, male, you know, whatever we want to do, we can really target those unique demographic groups. Now, I wanted to talk about the valuation change in your company, not having the platform and having the platform. Oh, it's, it, it is bar. It, it's really helped set the tone for us to be able to drive that valuation. Well, and if you've ever started an app, you know the cost that it goes into creating a, uh, an app and to develop it and all the time and money that goes into that. So be, to be able to have a platform like Skylab um, integrate into our company made our valuation skyrocket immediately just because, again, the cost if we want to develop this on our own would be astronomical. Exactly. And when you say astronomical, let's put some hard numbers on that so people really get the impact. Because how much would it have cost in time and money for you to be able to, for you to build the platform that you're using now relative to the cost that it is to, to implement it, the time to implement that, and really the, the actual cost that you would have to do that. I don't need to give the cost of the app out here, but you can get a pretty good idea with generalizing the the question, the answer to the question I just asked you. You know what I mean? Yep. To build an app, even the the, the most basic version of an app can cost anywhere around fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. But that doesn't include all the features that we have. That's so, that's bare bones. You're logging in and you're just capturing general information. This app works. The way that this app works is this is well over a one million dollar you know investment into a platform already, and we've been able to leverage our partnership with Skylab to streamline that process and really cut that cost down. And so now we're really receiving five million dollars worth of investment. development and investment for a much cheaper rate without us having to develop that ourselves. One of the things that I find people becoming more engaged with on an advertising basis is actually having an impact with their dollars. It's not just selling the goods to another cons consumer. It's actually creating an impact. So these people that are coming with you and partnering on the branding side, are, give them an idea. And I know we'd already touched on this subject of the type of impact that they're having, not just short term, but long term by partnering with you and your brand and the, the processes that you have in place for the behavioral um, results that you you implement through your company, Cheer Life, as well as using the technology that you're implementing. Is that a, can you get my question there? 
Absolutely. We actually don't partner with brands if they're if they're not tied to a you know a community. You know, we are we are set in stone, we are technology with a heart. We have a strong core mission statement that we are gonna help push through positive value reinforcing that we are gonna change the dynamic, change the industry, improve mental health in our youth across around the world. And we that's a requirement to really be a partner with us. So what we can offer brands when we do this is to really have a long lasting engagement effort that really drives that brand, that brand engagement, that relationship with the consumer with a positive value. And it's, 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 it's like I said earlier, it's unprecedented that we can really change the dynamic and change the architecture of how someone views a brand simply by, by, by connecting it with a positive action. These aren't big positive actions. This is do your homework, give your parents a compliment, check into school, you know, accomplish a new goal. Um, you know, things like that really can, can move mountains with, you know, branding when you're looking at new brands and marketplace. Gentlemen, it's been great having you on the show. I look forward to the next interview. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. Thanks, Michael. My pleasure. All right, you've been watching CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining with us. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.